Hey everyone, this is Gary Tonincourt from more than a snapshot.com. Today I want to compare a few programs. Topaz's AI Gigapixel, which resizes images. If you have a small image and you want to make it larger for printing, this is the program to do it. Uh, I'm going to compare that to On One's program, which previously was the leader probably in this space of being able to resize images. And then we'll also compare it to what Photoshop can do right out of the box. So we'll see if there's really any difference between them. Uh, obviously, you have to pay for AI Gigapixel and you have to pay for On One as separate plugins. But if you already happen to have Photoshop, maybe you can do that job in Photoshop. But let's see um, the differences with the plugin. So. The first thing is, is the interface for Topaz's AI Gigapixel is fairly simple. You just first need to either click on this box or drag in an image to get started. So I'm going to take a look at this moose photo. It is fairly small, 1245 by 1585, and it is a JPEG, and it's only about 2 megabytes in size. So I'm going to drag that file into uh, AI Gigapixel. And you can see here, it will list as many photos as you want here. It does do batch processing. And here on the right side, we have options. We can select by scale or by size how large we want to increase the size of this photo. So in this case, I'm going to go 200%. Um, and you can also have it do a little noise reduction while it's doing this process. Uh, maybe most of the time you want none. Uh, here I am going to just leave it on moderate and we'll see what it does. In the middle here we get to choose what kind of file we want and of course I want to output a JPEG since that's what I'm starting with. I just want a larger JPEG so maybe I can print it. Um, down here you can give the output file an extension so that it doesn't overwrite your original file. And then here, whether your computer is using the GPU or the CPU to process this. If you have a very large file, um, or if you're trying to convert it to a very large file, on some computers, this process can take a long time. Um, I have a fairly new computer, so it handles it pretty well. So all you do is hit Start, and you'll see that it is processing. It tells you the original size here and then what size it's going to make it. And you can see here it's already done. Um, and it made it to 2490 by 3170. And if you click Preview, it zooms in and shows you here's what my original file looks like and here is what the new file looks like. And even though this new file is much larger, it looks like it's much better quality than the original smaller file was. So, so far that's looking really great. So I'm going to clear this and uh, get rid of this program. That's really all there is to resizing the file. It's very simple. Now uh, I'm going to try it with On1's resize. So I'm going to open up On1. Okay, so this is the same photo and I'm going to go to resize and then it opens up the document resize settings. Now I, op I increased the other one by 200%, so I'm going to go to percent here and I'm going to change this to 200% so I get the same file size, the same resolution and everything. And then all I have to do is come down here to export. And then I'm going to save a JPEG. I'll save the best quality. And it'll save in the same folder. It also has a function to prevent overriding the original file. And if I want to here, I can give it a name and then just hit export now. And it just created that new file. Okay, so now I have the second one done. I can close on one. Now we'll uh, go over to Photoshop. And I think I have the original file already here. This is the original file. So all I have to do is go to image size. And again, I have it on percent. I'll put in 200% to match what I did in the other programs. And I have it resampling set to automatic. You can see here the size is going to be the same. And I will say OK. 
and here is the larger version in Photoshop that was also very simple now I've already saved this so I don't need to do that so now let's head over to Lightroom where we can compare how these three photos look so here we are in Lightroom and uh, the photo on the left here was the on one uh, creation and the, this one was the Photoshop version and I have to say they look fairly similar there's not a huge difference all the programs did pretty well making the enlargements uh, to me the Photoshop one looks a little bit clearer a little bit sharper than um, the on one version here I have the AI Gigapixel version, and here is the Photoshop version. Those were my two leaders. And again, this is also very close, but I would give the slight edge here to AI Gigapixel. It looks a little bit sharper than, uh, than this one. Of the three, AI Gigapixel was able to create a little more sharpness and a little more clarity and still enlarge it very quickly and very efficiently. So I think that this plug-in could be very handy, especially since um, you may be, take a lot of photos with the cell phone. You could always use this program to make them larger so that you could make uh, maybe bigger prints of your cell phone photos. Or if you happen to you know, shoot with any other digital camera, if you crop your photos at all, you may want to make them larger so that you can still print the photo at a reasonable size. And AI Gigapixel or any one of these programs would be useful for this purpose, but I think you'll get the best quality from AI Gigapixel. So give that a try and see if you are getting similar results to me. And if you uh, want to try it for yourself, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a trial version of AI Gigapixel. And if you use the coupon code SNAPSHOT, you can get 15% off anything you purchase from Topaz. So again, this has been Gary D. Tonicourt from Wellnessnapshot.com. I hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.